All right, what's up, guys? I promised to do this video. Uh, <clears throat> somebody was asking me to compare the uh, Chris Black bead to Starline Gear beads. Uh, has a couple of beads that I have out. I have my DI bead, I have my Gasser bead, and I have my uh, the newer style bead, the Leprechaun bead. So. What we got going on here is the Chris Black. Okay, let's talk about let's talk about what you get with Starline gear. When you buy a Starline gear, we all know if you know anything about Starline gear, you get the bead. The bead comes in a plastic bag with a Starline gear card. Let's talk about packaging. You get the you get the bead, you get a card, you get a plastic baggie. Chris Black. You get the bead, you get a cloth bag. You get a, a sales bag, <clears throat> and uh, that's pretty much it. So, for packaging, Chris Black beats out Starline gear. Let's move on to actual size of the bead and what you get with Chris Black and what you get with Starline gear. Now, I'm going to compare the these two together. This would be the DI bead, and that would be the Chris Black bead. Now you can see there's a big difference there. The Chris Black bead beats out the uh, Starline gear in the amount of silver. So you're getting a lot more silver with um, Chris Black versus Starline gear in this particular example. You're going to find it the same way in the uh, the Gasser bead. It's uh, less silver. I wish I had a scale, but I don't. I could show you the, the weight, but... And even in the uh, the newest bead, which is uh, a lot less silver because the hat makes up for metal, he's uh, lightened the silver load because he's added on a copper hat. So uh, actually, there's a lot more silver with the Chris Black bead. Now, with Starline gear, not to insult Starline gear, I love Starline gear. If you've ever seen any of my videos on it, I have a lot of Starline gear. I'm a big collector of his stuff. And... Uh, you're not really buying it. A lot of people like to question, okay, when they try and buy Starline gear used or whatnot, they're mad because they're, people think that they're overcharging. Um, when it comes to Starline gear, his stuff is more, you're not paying for the silver, you're paying for the art. You're paying for his craftsmanship, you're paying for his one-of-a-kind beads, and that's what you're paying for. It's like art. It's like a painting on a wall, but it's not a painting. It's a bead. It's a handcrafted bead. They're limited productions. And um, once he stops making them, he stops making them. So that's what gives him the value. If you want one, you better grab it when it comes out, or hopefully you can get it on the second market. And uh, hopefully you can get the certificate and everything with it. But that's what you're paying for. You're paying for the art. You're paying for this man's work, this man's craftsmanship. Same thing with Chris Black. Uh, he's given you a lot more silver, though. He's not well as well known as Starline Gear. He's uh, he's up and coming. He's starting to get he's starting to get popular. But uh, he's he's making uh, he's doing it right though. He's coming out with product, and uh, and I'm not going to insult either one. You know, they're about they're about he's going to be cheaper and he is cheaper uh 180 180 295 retail on those beads 150 retail you get a bag you get this bag and you get his certificate card all you get with him is a plastic bag the bead and that's it and a little certificate card credit card so if you want the more silver, you go with Chris Black. If you want, and he has, and I can't really say it, I'm more into this design skulls. I like Starline gear. I, I just love his designs. He's got a unique design, and it's basically that anime Japanese style skulls. He doesn't, his, his skulls aren't more, his, his is more set towards the anime Japanese style where, Chris Black, it almost looks more like human. So there's a little bit different in the uh, in the style of skulls. Uh, this his is more realistic skull, more flatter, more thicker. Uh, Starline gear, it's more roundier. Eyes are bigger. 
you know, it's just, well, eh, their eyes are about the same, but the features on the face, the eyes are bigger to the whole skull. But it's kind of a toss-up. You, you get more with Chris Black, but do you like the style of Starline gear? And me, I'm going to be a collector. I like them both. These are two companies that I'm, I like. I'm going to check out some more of Chris Black's stuff after what I've seen here. I probably will. But uh, I'd like to see him to do... I would really like to see him do a gas mask uh, bead because I, I would really be interested in that um, just to see how a gas mask, if he could pull it off. I'm sure he could pull it off, but what would it look like on his design? Uh, but... That's all I can really say about the difference between Chris Black and Starline gear. I've only got one Chris Black bead, and I've got these three and a, and a lot others, but I didn't feel like pulling them out. These are my main favorite ones. But uh, that's going to be it. If you have any more questions, that's my opinion on these two products and the two companies. So uh, take it easy, guys.